These engines are going to be running at extreme temperatures in this condition. There's very little airflow in the rainforest, there's huge amounts of mud, and it's pushing these engines to the limits. And that's why we're using the best oil we can get. What I'm going to do is drain the oil out here into a container that I can measure exactly how much oil comes out. When we finish the jungle event, we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to drain the oil out and see how much oil from the start to finish we've used. I'm expecting this to be very little because this engine oil is probably the best quality oil I can get as a fully synthetic oil. We just don't get environments like this. It's probably one of the harshest environments you can take a vehicle into. What's going to make driving in these conditions tough on the engine is going to be the extreme mud we're going to encounter. The mud is actually going to put huge strain on the engine. It puts huge strain on the vehicle. If that radiator gets coated in mud as you go through rivers full of silt, you reduce the cooling effectiveness of the radiator. That just pushes the extremity on the engine. The engine's working that much harder trying to cope with these severe conditions. I've changed every fluid in the vehicle. The drive lines, the gearbox, the transfer box, they've got fully synthetic oil in. The engine's got fully synthetic oil. This is going to give the protection we need to the drive line and engine in these extreme conditions that we're going to be testing this machine to. I'm going to take some oil. This oil is going to be a mineral-based oil, and I'm going to warm it up on a stove here and see what actually happens to the oil. What I've noticed is that actually the oil starts to darken, and as it's darkening, it's oxidizing. So it's basically breaking down from the heat. So inside the engine, we're going to have a same, the same situation with an oil that's not actually there doing its job on these extreme conditions. I'm repeating the same test at the same time, except there's one difference. I'm going to be using some of the Shell Helix Ultra and see what we come up with. The oil has actually turned slightly darker. It's gone from a light straw type color to a dark, richer golden color. So definitely the heat has affected the oil. But what I have noticed, there's no oxidation element traces that I can see in this oil. That's very reassuring for me. That means that under the same heat conditions in the engine, this oil is doing its job. It's protecting the engine. The oxidation is not forming in the oil. That is what we need in these jungle conditions. You can clearly see for yourselves, the mineral oil on my left has actually reduced in volume. It's also darkened the pan oxidi oxidization that is shown not only in the oil, but actually on the pan surface itself. And here you've got the helix oil. This has left the pan clean, so really no signs of oxidation that have actually occurred on the pan or in the oil. And it also looks, the volume is definitely a lot more than that. And I'm sure if I measure it back in the cap, the volume will be pretty much what it was that we put in. This is what's keeping the engine going. This is the lifeblood in our engine. I can't afford for this to let us down or break down. It's critical. We're relying on this more than we're relying on any other component in the engine right now and especially with the extra stress and strain you're putting on this whole vehicle. It's a lot of extra weight, dragging the vehicle through the mud. It works at twice, if not three times as hard. So far, we've had no problems, and I'm confident that we will get in and out of this jungle, despite being the monsoon season. I'm going to now do my engine checks, just to check our motor from what we've done in the jungle. We're going to drain the oil. We're going to see how much oil we used on this trip. So this is the oil I've just taken out the engine. And as you can see, we've lost no oil. The volatility of this oil has been fantastic. We've pushed this truck through extremes in the mud, uh, driving in low range, four wheel drive, revving it really hard, running winches, or sometimes, you know, hours. This fully synthetic oil, it's done its job in every second.